Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my ninth update. Is it the ninth or the eighth? I'm not really sure. But I have my update for my Partners in Cream project pen that was created by Steph Lyons and Dylan here on YouTube. So, are you guys ready? This is a year-long project pen. I think it might run even for longer. I'm not sure. Maybe there's going to be a Partners in Cream 2.0 where we start fresh with all new products. I hope that's gonna be the case for next year. I'm really sorry about my voice, guys. I'm a little bit hungover. I had one too many shots last night. Me and, me and husband, me and my husband wanted to just have a fun, chill night at home. We had some reggae music playing, like blasting throughout the house. We were taking shots and I'm feeling it today. I am definitely feeling it today, but that doesn't stop me from filming. I did really want to film this today and have it go up on time since it is the 10th already. If you guys are interested in Project Pan videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell as well as check out the playlist in my description bar. You guys will enjoy it. Let's get into the video. Alright guys, so for this update, I am proud to tell you guys that I have two empties and can you guess what it is? The first empty that I have is from my Poopart Poopa palette. I had a creamy shimmer shade that I was working on for the longest time. I think I've been working on it for, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six months. And it is finally done. I will put up pictures for you guys. Should I just show you like this? So here it is completely done and empty and you will see the progress up on the screen. I went to a bridal shower last week and I had this all over my chest and my arms. I was wearing this cute tank top, uh, I mean crop top. So I was just like glittery all over and shimmery and it looked really nice that way. That is how the majority of the progress was made. And then most days I did also use it as a blush topper, which I did really like as well. And I'm so proud <laughs> to have finished off another pan in this palette you guys can see i'm so close to finishing this off this will definitely be my pan that palette for next year if there is anything left <laughs> there's a blush three shimmer shades left the brown i'm definitely not going to be working on and there is another taupe shade that is in another uh container that i'm working on in another project pan but the update will be going up in three days so stay tuned for that this is done i will be rolling in something new in its place and then the second product that i finished off is actually my nail polish topper so this is the what is it maybelline doctor rescue gel effect top coat i finally finally finished this off i used it three more times last month and it finished on the 18th of september and i have used it a total of six times to finish it off which is nothing i mean i only had half left you guys can see this is where i was when i rolled it in last update and i think i'm sorry down here but because the bristle is so short i just can't get to the liquid and it's so gloopy and no matter how much i like used it like this it still wouldn't reach the liquid so I called it done. I didn't really like it at the end. It was getting too gloopy and I am using another um, gel. No, I mean, I'm, I am using another top coat from Floor Mart and I absolutely love that. That one is just pure liquid, which I like. I don't like these gloopy, you know, nail polishes. So this is done. I'm so happy. I have finished off so many nail polish this month like stay tuned for my uh empties i still haven't uh filmed last month's empties so it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a good one i think i'm gonna upload that one in two days so stay tuned for that i have met my goal of uh, finishing over two thousand dollars off beauty products so it is gonna be a fun video to show you guys and film so these two are the products that I finished off last month and let's go into the updates. The first product that I'm finally seeing some progress is my sunscreen. So this is the La Ferrer Anti-Spot Sunscreen for normal to dry skin and it's in the shade bronze so it is kind of like a tinted sunscreen. I absolutely hate this. It feels like a heavy duty 
foundation and because it's a sunscreen i'm supposed to apply a lot of it but it just looks so cakey and i hate it i hate it whenever i do use it i either use the tiniest amount or i mix it in with another like just clear sunscreen just to give me that extra protection um but yeah the weight on this did finally go down it was 40 grams for two months in a row and it's currently sitting at 37 grams so i've used three grams of product which is amazing because usually i just use up one gram and that's it i think i am somewhere down here so i'm halfway done i'm thinking of transferring this into another clear like just tub that is not clear i mean it's just so it would be easier for me to use and i can see some progress I feel like maybe the sunscreen part would not be working that way or it would expire but I think the sunscreen is expired anyway so I might just do that and use this as a foundation I guess which I absolutely hate it as a foundation but I will just transfer it into another tube just so it would be easier for me to see how much I have left and how hard I should be working on it how often I should be applying it and I will show you guys up on the screen once I've done that the next product that I was working on is my hair oil. Didn't do super well on that as well. So this is my Vatica Coconut Enriched Hair Oil. This is what it looks like. I really thought I'm going to be done with it by this update, but I am not. So this is where I was previously. This is where I am currently. have the tiniest amount left. As you can see, I think two uses and this should be done. I should apply it tomorrow and see how it goes. I should at least try to apply this once a month, but I just don't. Once a week, I mean. I was getting some pretty decent progress back a few months ago, a few months back, but I just fell off the bandwagon once again, especially with uh, going to work. It's just been harder to find time to apply this, let it sit, and then go take a shower. I don't have the luxury of wasting time anymore. So this will just have to sit tight and finish off slowly, I guess. So the weight on this did also go down. It used to be 46 grams and it's currently 39 grams. So I've used seven grams of it, but yeah, that is all I wanted to talk about. And then the last product I was working on is my lipstick, which I have on top of a lip liner. So it looks a little bit darker. So this is my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Can and i absolutely love this this is my absolute favorite shade or lipstick or every everything about this the formula the color the whole packaging i absolutely love it's so good it's so small and it doesn't take up a lot of space it can fit in my pocket it can fit in my small bags i just love it so i don't have a lot left you guys can see i'm like swirling it around and there's the tiniest amount of product i can call this done but it's just so little product just at the tip but because i love it so much i want to use it one more month because i lost this for a week or two it was in one of my bags and i couldn't find it and i do want to give myself one more month with it just because i love it so much and next month i am going to call this done because i am going to be getting a bit more use out of it i'm pretty sure and it's just gonna be dead by then all right so that was everything for my update and then for the two new products i'm gonna be rolling in i'm so excited about this my voice is so hoarse right now which i am not loving but anyways the first product i want to be rolling in is an eyebrow gel or eyebrow cream because it's not a gel anyways this is my smashbox um what is this brow tech uh trio in the shade brunette as you guys can see i have pan in the taupe shade i am working on this dark brown shade in another project pan and then i do have the gel over here the eyebrow gel it is a creamy formula and i thought you know what since i have hit pan on it why not try to finish this off completely? So I am going to be rolling in that eyebrow gel portion of it. I don't really like putting on eyebrow gel just because it pulls on my um, eyebrows a little bit. And I do have very weak follicles, so I do get a lot of um, my eyebrows pulled out. 
whenever I want to wash it off. So I still do want to get this done though because it is getting up there in age. I've had this for, oh my God, a long time, like four or five years. It's definitely old. So I definitely need to finish this off like soon. <laughs> Then the next product I wanted to roll in, first I was thinking of a dark liquid lipstick, but then I was like, hold on, you can barely work on one lipstick, so let's just not go there. Once this one is done, I'm gonna roll in that one, especially since winter is coming along and it's a mini that I wanna roll in. But for now, I thought I would go for these um, samples. So these are the Urban Decay, eyeshadow primer potion we have four different samples they're in four different colors we have original eden sin and anti-aging so my goal is to finish all these off so these are getting pretty old i've had this for three years now so i do really want to go ahead and finish this off i don't really use eyeshadow primer but for the sake of this <laughs> project pen i do want to get rid of them and finish them off so these four are gonna be rolling in. I don't think the weight is gonna matter just cause they're so um, light. So we're just gonna take progress pictures. They're all sealed for now and we'll see how I'm gonna do next month. All right guys, so that was everything for my update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We finished off two products, uh, talked about three progresses and we rolled in th two more products as well. Did I say that right? I'm not sure, but. I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe once again and check out the rest of the videos that i have in the eye and in the description bar so yeah enjoy happy panning and i'll see you guys next time